How's it going everybody? This video is going to be a short one where I show you a really nifty piece of software that's become an essential part of my workflow. PureF is a simple yet elegant program that allows you to organize and view reference images easily. This is an amazingly nifty tool not just for Blender users but artists of all genres. So downloading PureF is as simple as can be. You just go to PureF.com, which I'll link in the description. Go to download, choose your operating system. I'm going to choose the 64-bit installer. And then you can choose to donate an amount or you can just choose custom amount and type in zero. And then click download. Once it finishes downloading, you just click the exe to install. Once you open PureF, this is what you'll see, just a blank window and it says there's nothing here. Drop some images to get started. First off, to move this window around, you can just right click and drag. And to maximize it, you can right click, go to window, maximize, or just press control F. So we're going to have to bring some reference images in here, and there's two ways you can do this. You can save the images to your computer, and then drag them in. Or as I prefer, you can just copy images from a website in the browser, and then control V or paste directly into PureF. And once you do, you'll see your image in PureF. Now if I drag this image outside of the borders of the canvas, you'll see it automatically sizes up, which is super useful. For the sake of demonstration, let's say I need some reference images of doors, because maybe I want to make a few doors for a model library in Blender, and so I'm going to go ahead and add more images to this canvas. Alright, and let's also add some doorknobs for the sake of uh, demonstrating some of the other functionality later on for PureF. Alright, so I've brought in a bunch of images of doors, and as you can see, it's getting a bit hectic in here, and we'll look at the tools for organization in a minute, but I want to talk about some of the more basic tools first. So, first off, as you can see, I'm moving around this window, and I'm doing so by middle mouse clicking and dragging. Also, you can click and left click and drag images, as you would expect. Uh, furthermore, you can press the space bar to focus on images, and then press the space bar again to unfocus them. Now, as you can see, PureF maintains the original resolution of each image. So we have uh, images that are widely different sizes here. So let's take a look at cleaning this up now. So what we're going to do is first left click and drag to select all the doors. And then you can right click. You can go to images, normalize, and then I'm going to choose width or you can press control alt right as you can see here. And what's that, what that's going to do is it's going to match up the widths of these images, but it keeps the aspect ratio the same by sizing them down uniformly. Now, this became quite a bit messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to images, arrange, and I'm going to choose optimal, or you could just press control P. And you'll see that that packs them in the most optimal manner that PRF can find. I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing for the doorknobs now. All right, and as you can see, really quickly, all my images are nicely packed and organized. Now, there's quite a bit of dead space here, so when you're done adding images, if you'd like, you can just right-click the canvas, go to Canvas, and Optimize, and it will size it down to fit what you have in. So I don't know if I like how this laid these out, so let's try a different method. Let's go to Arrange, and let's go by Name. I like that better. In this case, I'm pretty sure it organizes it alphabetically by name. I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I think is happening here. All right, so at this point in my workflow, I usually have a lot more images than this. And so what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll add in notes. And to do so, you can just right click and go to note or just press control N. And as you'll see, this little text box appears. So I'm just going to type doors. And if you click this little T here in the left, the bottom one, you can actually change the background color of this note. And just like with the images, you can drag this around and it'll size up to it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to press control N and I'm going to call this door knobs. So at this point, I will usually save my file and you can save your entire canvas by going to save, save as, and then you just pick a place to save it. I'll call this doors. 
and it's as simple as that. Now, these are the tools that I use the most in my workflow, but there are a lot of other tools and I wanna go over some of the other features that you may find useful. Okay, so first off, I wanna acknowledge that not everybody has a second monitor to store PureF on while they're working, but you actually don't need one. So if I go to PureF and I try to size it down, you can do so by going to the borders and just sizing them down. And I say, put it here in Blender. And then I go to start working in Blender. You'll see obviously Blender focuses and it disappears behind it. So what you have to do is go to PureF, right click, go to mode, and click always on top, or you can press Control shift a Now I can work in Blender and PureF stays right here. Super useful. You can also unlock it by going back and just choosing always on top again. Easy as can be. Now PureF also has a bunch of tools for dealing with images themselves. I don't personally use them a lot, but I can see them being useful for other people. So let's talk about cropping. You can really easily crop images inside of Pure Ref. So first off, make sure you have the image selected. And then what you do is you hold C on the keyboard and left mouse drag. Once you release, the area that you selected is where the image will crop to. And the really cool thing about this is that it does this non-destructively. So Let's say later on down the line, I decide that I don't want this image to be cropped. You can right click, go to image, selection, and then reset cropping, or you can just press control shift C and it will reset that image, which I think is super cool. Imagine having to crop images like this or doing any of this stuff inside of an image editing software like Photoshop or Krita or any of them, just for reference images. It would be so tedious and annoying to have to toggle between layers, crop the image in a different tab and then bring it back in. There's just no need to do any of that. I would 100% recommend PureF all the way for reference images. Finally, I wanna show a cool little secret that I discovered by mistake the other day. I can see this being something that I use in the future, but say you're on a web page with a bunch of images that you like. I'm just gonna use my website as an example, but there's a bunch of images here. If you go to the URL and copy it, so I just press Control C to copy the URL, and then you go into PureF and you control V to paste, it will actually bring in all the images that are available from that web page and pack them, which is just super cool to me. I don't know if anyone else will find that useful, but I just think that that's something I'm gonna be using a lot in the future. The functionality that I've showed you today really only scratches the surface of this piece of software. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. And I've just showed you the stuff that I use the most. I will link to the help page that shows all the different key bindings for PureF as well as to some other useful resources uh, about this piece of software. And yeah, that concludes the video, guys. I know this was a quick one. I've been trying to work out uh, an upload schedule finally, and I'm thinking I'm gonna do quick tips like this on Tuesday so that I can call it something cheesy, like Quick Tip Tuesday. And I'm gonna reserve Fridays for more dedicated tutorials, so keep on the lookout for that. If you enjoyed this video, please consider slapping a like on it. For more content like this, consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments down below. I wish you all the best of luck in your work, and I will see you in the next one.